pause, start pause, it out. Pause, pause, pause. Hold on one sec. When you ask that question, we always dream big, man. We might well really should have been from Texas. Everything we do is big. So that question, we always dream big. So come on, get back, man. Pause. Let's handle it. Don't say no more. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is Junior Phenom Top 100. Make sure you subscribe, man. Another hot topic that we about to touch. A lot of people ask us how Junior Phenom was formed. Um, we seen an opening in it. Uh, the youth wasn't getting exposure. The youth wasn't really playing talent. And from where we're from, um, a lot of people couldn't travel. So therefore, they was unable to showcase their skill set. Uh, back then, you had to go, I believe they had what? Texas, you had to go. Um, and what Junior Phenom done is bringing Texas to here, to the less privileges. And, and, and man, it's definitely been a journey. But now we went from renting out high school gyms to renting out full facilities, a uh, course that's in one in one that building. Part of the vision, though? Like, uh, y'all what? always have your mindset like, it's going to be this big or was it like going to start small? Well, I'll say this. Um, you know, Junior Phenom, well, it kind of started pause, out. Pause, pause, Hold on one sec. When you ask that question, we always dream big, man. We might well have really should have been from Texas. Everything we do is big. So that question, we always dream big. So come on, get back, man. Pause. Let's handle it. Don't say no more. Like you said, at the end of the day, Junior Phenom, like you said, you know, we started grassroots, you know what I mean? Building it organically. Um, Youth basketball, like anywhere from second to eighth grade, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we, you know, we built it organically, you know, with mainly just teams, you know, we knew, you know what I'm saying? Traveling around, kind of just coaching, because I started out as a coach, you know what I mean? Was coaching younger teams and we started building it organically. And, you know, it just went from there as far as, you know, building relationships with coaches, you know what I mean? We started out with a camp, you know, our first camp, we put it out there, you know, it was over 10 years ago, like 2015, 2000, well, 14, actually, we started putting it out there and, um, Started putting it out, putting it out, putting it out, just, you know, hand-to-hand -hand traveling. Yo, we want to do a big camp at the end of the summer. We want to do a camp at the end of the summer. And the word got around, and it went, the buzz got out there. And next thing you know, that first camp, we had over 300 kids at. We didn't even prepare for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, And it's been uphill. So after the success of the camp, we was like, yo, we might as well might as well do a tournament. You know what I mean? Let's try a tournament. So it was like, man, maybe uh, let's try MLK weekend. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and, and for real, for real, from there, you know what I mean? We started planning it. You know what I mean? We started those same coaches that we built relationships, you know, i.e. Dante and Mookie, um, Coach Ray from TakeOver, Ed Cook, you know, all those guys. You know, we started with them. I mean, I, I, I could keep naming and naming, but, you know, the reality of it is, like, we started out with those guys, you know, as far as just building an organic relationship. They supported us, and um, MLK became a success. Mm -hmm. Who came up with MLK? What? MLK, why not? It was an open date, so... When we when we when we open up that one, we 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 pride to stand on integrity. So when we decided to stand on integrity, we called all the the top directors that 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 was doing this, and and, and basically, MLK was a date that no. One I know you've been seeing our camps all over the internet. We go all over the country. Register your team right now. www.juniorphenom.com at juniorphenom100 on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We everywhere. Come outside. And open. We didn't we didn't come over here and step on toes or try to compete with others. That was never our mission. Our mission was a dad came to us personally, like, man, you really helped my family. So I was like, how? He had just came out of jail and his son was 15 at the time. So by his son being 15, the only way that he really could bond with his son was through basketball. So MLK just, just flourished from there, man. The people spoke up for us and like, hey man, when the next time y'all doing an event? So went from one event to two events to another event. And, you know, it, it's here, man, the support. The support is real. Like you said, I piggyback on that, just saying that, like you said, um, started out from, you know, from, from nothing as far as building those teams, uh, building those relationships with these programs. You know what I mean? Um, I think, you know, the first year, I think we did over 100 teams. Correct. You know what I mean? And that was just on, 
like you said, hand in hand, relationships. Te- text, you know I mean? text it through the phone. Like we, right. like, you know, one, one thing about it, they grew with us. Like, um, we really didn't know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And, and, and the fans, uh, the parents, mm-hmm. the directors, they allowed us to grow as they grew. And, and, and man, it just been a lovely ride. Like, we, we, we used to pack our bags up, man, and stay in motels, you know yeah. what I mean? And really grind that thing, shake hands, and really meet the right people. And it just grew. Organically. Yep, organic. Super sauce to build a relationship. Because I see every time I come to the gyms, everybody know who y'all are. Hey. Y'all, y'all can't walk through the gym without dapping up hands. It, it, it's, it's no secret to it. It's about being real. You know what I mean? And, and one thing, I, 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 I stand on this. You dealing with dads and mothers that been to college or pros or you been or you dealing with street guys and they can see right through you. So at the end of the day, if you just a, a person that's not really invested to that brand or, or to the to the kids or just rolling the ball out looking like a money grab, now don't tell you won't survive. The people that I give you an example, we had COVID going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. That day they they shut everything down. We gave back over forty five thousand, no credit. Do your research. And, and 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 guess what? We we sacrifice, but that's when the people really seen that we were really for the kids. We call, we we pop up at schools, we we do a lot of things that we don't advertise to the public, and that's that's the sauce. Just being real, like you say, organic, but and and and, and authentic. That's like it. every, you know, I mean, if you look at MLK, what you getting for a championship trophy? And you show me uh, any director that's investing like that, I wait. Every year we stepping up the game. We listen to the people, and it's not always uh, peaches, but we listen and we we correct the, the issues, and we grow together. We call, and it's a family affair. Can't no one that that run our circuit can't say that like we call. They call us, and it's a village to raise these kids. That's it. And like you said, like to piggyback on what he's saying, we got kids that we had from second grade that's going to college now, that's going to Duke, mm-hmm. that's going to North Carolina, that's going to Villanova, that's going to Kentucky. You know, that's playing at Kentucky, that's playing at North Carolina. So, and we look at them all as our kids because they came through our circuit, and they came through our camp. You know what I mean? That's playing at Bucknell, that's playing at even the smallest college because, you know, at the end of the day, it's about going to get that degree for free. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, we preach degree for free. And it's just like, 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 like Coach Steve said, it's just an organic relationship. Um, and you say, as far as um, what does it take, you know, it's just like he said, just being um, transparent. You know what I mean? It's been the greatest. Um, success story that you guys can talk about individually that has come out of Jimmy Fino. Oh. Greatest success story. Oh, uh, man. Of course, all of them are success stories. All of them, exactly. One that really the, out you, of you know what's real for me, man? It's like I, I said, I said we was in uh, North Carolina and we seen LeBron wife and, and, and we posted that she – uh, was walking in the building to see her son. And when I tell you the next day, that thing was on TMZ Sports. It was on her fan page. It, and, man, it was like it was like stars coming from the sky. And like I said, if I ever had the opportunity to, to even speak to her, I would tell her, appreciate it. And she don't even realize what she had done for our company. Uh, me, personally, my, my second experience was I was driving. Uh, I first camp, and, and they had um, kids was posting it on the flight, X, Y, Z. And man, I broke down in tears, man. I, I pulled over, true story, I pulled over and cried because like, God, these guys really believe in our brand. And we wasn't even really out there. We were just really trying to figure it out. And you had guys coming from Alaska, Florida, to our camp. We had over 300 kids our first, our first go around. And we had the whole community behind us. So man, that, I will always be grateful of those type of moments. Uh, for myself, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna go with the coach Hanif, Omar, um, you know, Bull City Thunder, his kids, you know, they raised, they were raised up at Junior Phenom as far as coming to the camp, you know, as far as playing in tournaments. He supported us from day one. A um, friend of mine and his son, Bilal, you know, he recently passed away. Um, he had a disease, and, um, you know, it was just something that just, you know, it, it touched everybody, man. It touched our family, like, like, like Steve said, Junior Phenom, man. I mean that. But for him to really show us the love he's shown us throughout the course of our tenure, you know, in the, on the circuit and as far as the tournaments, you know what I mean? And then when his son got sick and, you know, passed away, he's real, like he called up, he called and was like, yo, I want to, I want to, um, I want to donate money every year to a kid that's coming to Junior Phenom Camp and, you know, in, in, in the name of my son, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So like for me, 
that's the big, biggest success story, I would yeah. say, because, you know, for people to do things like that, I mean, that's, that's yeah. you can't put a price on it. You can't put a price on it, I agree. And, and, and the piggyback, I can't even really say a success story because no one wants to lose a, a loved one. But I tell you what, that, that really uh, uh, made me feel like we was on the right path. And it's definitely a gift from God. He called us that day that his son died. That's true. Like, that day, like, let that sink in your head. Like, that day his son died, he was talking about Junior Phenom, and I'm holding back the tears. His son just died, and he's like, yo, I really want to appreciate y'all, what y'all did for me and my family for Junior Phenom that day. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, huh? I couldn't, I couldn't fathom, like, really? So those moments is, is priceless, man. Like, when I say, and people know, like, my favorite line, like, if I know you, I'm going to call you family. And, and 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 that moment made me really appreciate that word. Like when I say I love you, love is a strong word. Family is a strong word. Uh, Alan Iverson called his son, FaceTimed him. Mm -hmm. These these the type of um, words that AI m might not get credit for. But right. if credit if AI run a red light, AI gonna be all on the news. He FaceTimed his son. Talk to his son. Like, those moments right there, man, is, is, like you said, man, this is what Junior Phenom is all about. That's a fact.